Thanks for sticking around. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Peyton Curry from the Welcome Diner. And we're sticking with the vegetarian fare, and you're going to make us a tomato panzanella we're with doing local a panzanella. veggies. Yeah, we're going to do a panzanella. We're going to finish the squash salad first. Okay. Just as simple as that is. So this, again, is just the squash, the preserved lemon, the nepotella, a little bit of magic, of course, as we always use, mm -hmm. and some nice olive oil. So to finish this, you can see all that love that's come out of that. It's yeah. just zucchini juice, the we lemon juice. We want that. Okay. You want that for sure. So that's down. Then we're going to take the peaches and the whole nepotella leaves, right? I never we're, would have thought of peaches and squash mixed together. You're going to save this juice because this juice we're going to use to sweeten our tomato uh -huh. for the panzanella so nothing is wasted. To garnish the squash salad, we're going to use Black Mesa Ranch feta cheese. It's okay. goat's feta, which is quite nice. A little bit of this to garnish, and that's it. If you like pine nuts, throw some pine Ooh, nuts on there. If good. you like almonds, throw some almonds. At the Welcome Diner and at the dinner I'm doing on Wednesday at Monty's in Tempe, mm -hmm. no nuts, just me. No I'm nuts? No, I'm the only nut that'll be okay. there, which is good. How do you get these flavors to sort of all come together? I mean, do you just sort of play I copy, in the kitchen? I copy any website I possibly can. Really? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to. Uh, I mean, who, who would have thought that all that went together? Is it just trial and error? I just try to be more and more like Martha Stewart, you know, as okay. much as I can. Got the curls going, I guess, so we'll go from there. <laughs> You're so, definitely entertaining. Oh, you have to say that. And your food smells that. really good, and I know it's going to taste really good. So before we finish the chimichurri, we're going to taste, the, take this toasted garlic vinaigrette, right? for our panzanella salad. And make sure whoever you are with is eating the same thing. That is true. Because that, yeah, that could be really offensive with all that garlic. Well, the, gar the garlic's actually toasted off, so it, it gets a little bit sweeter. Is it's it like a bread salad? Total bread salad. This is brioche from Essence Bakery in Tempe. Um, we go through quite a bit of this brioche at the Welcome Diner. Only three nights a week, we go through about six to eight loves a week. And while you're mixing this up, I should say the Welcome Diner, they're only open for eight more nights. Eight more nights. We're open Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday at five o'clock. Uh, we do vegetarian, vegan. We make fresh pasta every day. Very rustic. I wanted it to feel like um, a, a little restaurant on the side of the Autostrada in Italy, where you'd be driving and you'd say, man, I didn't expect that to be there, or, you know, this neighborhood wouldn't expect us to be there. But right. we're getting peaches dropped off, eggs dropped off from our neighbors. Because you're sitting milk. right we're inside of yeah. the community. Like, you're, you're right it's inside. all residential. And that's exactly what we wanted it to be. And our last day is the 4th of July. Coming back to Tempe on Wednesday at Monty's at 5, doing all these same dishes, plus a few more, which will be nice. I've always liked Tempe, and we're actually working on maybe getting back there for a hot minute, which is Well, good. and the good news is that we're going to have Peyton back again. Oh, yeah. And so we will find out where you're going after the 4th of July. That is good. That is news to me. So to garnish, we're just going to drop the panzanella, some nice greens, local greens as well. Tomato. I mean, this is something, you know, this salad could feed, well, it's going to feed your entire staff today. So goat cheese from Black Mesa, just to garnish over the top. If you're a blue cheese eater, use your blue cheese. If you're a pecorino cheese eater, you know, if you like Velveeta, like my twin brother, use Velveeta. <laughs> You know, and brown Would you just die if you put Velveeta over the top of that? You know, that's, <laughs> that's you never all right. know. You never know. And then just a little, a little snack. Oh, yeah, I was making a grilled, homemade grilled cheese so sandwich. So we had a little extra left over of the brioche and the goat cheese. Oh, my gosh. We have like two minutes. Can you make a chimichurri in I'm two gonna minutes? Yes, of course. Okay. That's why. You so can do you many see, things all at once. Well, it's very simple, right? Um, I like a little bit of peas to garnish this. If you want to, do it. If okay. you don't, don't do it. Chimichurri. We have cilantro. We have parsley. And what this is, is something, chimichurri? Chimichurri is, is an a Argentinian kind of a, a meat sauce um, that, that's used to finish. It actually originated, it's very high in vinegar, to set off the taste of spoiled meat. But we're making vegetarian. But we're making vegetarian. Okay. So what we're going to do with this chimichurri, instead of putting it on meat, we're just going to use it to garnish a, a grilled, a grilled cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. Yum. So, it's very high again in acid. Okay, so you're putting... Banyol's vinegar, which is my go-to vinegar. These vinegars are quite expensive. It's the only vinegars that I'll use, especially during tomato season. But you only use a small amount of it, so you don't have so to use a lot. So are you making this also at Monty's? We are, yes. Okay. Um, and is it one fee, and they're going to get all this food? And no, all the, all the dishes are... Um, under $20, except one of the entrees that someone had requested to me from Tempe, uh -huh. loves the pork tenderloin I was bringing in. So we're going to bring that in for them. Okay. It's a total man's dinner. 
but it's also uh, got a little finesse for the ladies as well. What's as the occasion? They just wanted to they have They wanted you in? me back in Tempe, and there's a lot of people in Tempe that miss my food. Right. So we're going to bring they it back. They wanted you back on Mill Avenue. Yeah, we're coming back on Mill Avenue. We've got a few things that we may unveil there if possible. If not, no big deal. If you want to taste this. Oh, yeah, I do. So what I do is just to try to kind of keep it clean. I know my cutting board's a little mess there, but what I like to do is just spoon a little bit of this over the top. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're doing it for a party, do it open face. Don't cut it like I yeah, did. Yeah, put mine right in there, you know? and I'll put the lid back on it. And then you can do it that style. If you want some sliced tomato in there, go ahead. I like to show off the nice bread from Essence, the nice goat cheese from Black Mesa, some fresh herbs, and you can't go wrong. There's, oh no, there's no butter, there's no mayonnaise, so I save all that fat for the goat cheese, but it's not too high oh, in fat which either. Which one's Kim's, my producer, so, she's asking. Uh, actually, Kim, since I haven't been back in a while, you don't get any of this. <laughs> so, That'll uh, show you. And Paul, Paul, we've got some cleanup for you too, brother. <laughs> so, Boy, revenge. But here we go. Nice. These peas were marinated in a little bit of olive oil and champagne vinegar, squash salad. If you want to mm, throw mm, some nuts mm. on it, do it. And then just a little, a little grilled cheese, so... You cook like... It's like, nice and simple, very straightforward. It's, um, it's original, it's got flavors, it it's healthy. Oh, it's, it's highly I'm having you back next design. week. I'll be here with bells <laughs> on, of course. All right, I'm trying not to talk about them with my mouth full, but we are <laughs> going to have all of the recipes on our website at sonoranliving.com later on in the show. Um, or later on in the day, we'll yep. get everything up there. And, or go to Monty's this Wednesday at 5. Come to Monty's or stop by the Welcome Diner or uh, see me at the, the Farmer's Market Town & Country on Wednesday. Just, it's our last day. Yeah, so. we'll have all the info.